At some point in the last decade, pickup trucks stopped serving as mere beasts of burden and started serving as stand-ins for luxury sedans, family haulers, and personality statements. The 2021 Ford F-150 is all of those things and more. It's the hub for your tailgate. It is the mobile generator you want at the construction site. It's the ideal road tripper with 700 miles of range and hands-free driving. It can even serve as a makeshift office or hotel room. This is the 2021 Ford F-150, and it's what happens when you mix a pickup truck with a Swiss Army knife. The F-150 enters its 14th generation as the reigning sales champion for North America, but Ford isn't sitting on the laurels that come with sales dominance. With this redesign, the company is looking to extend its winning streak by offering a tech-focused truck with the sort of smart convenience features owners need and want in today's world. Yeah, the F-150 looks a bit like a refresh rather than a full-scale redesign, but according to Ford, every panel is new. There are noticeable changes to the hood, and rather than the strong character lines we see on cars, there are chamfered edges on the doors that highlight the F-150's profile. Beyond the usual body tweaks, there's an ample roster of trim changes. Owners can choose from nearly a dozen grille designs, numerous wheel options, and two-tone paint jobs to build their ideal truck. The F-150's bed is more than just a big tub at the back of the truck. From more available tie-down points to an onboard generator system to an especially versatile tailgate, this space is one that Ford has poured a lot of effort into. Let's start with a new Pro Power onboard generator. Depending on the powertrain, this system allows users to plug appliances directly into their truck's bed. The least powerful setup available on gas-powered models only can provide up to two kilowatts of power, while the most powerful arrangement, optional in the new hybrid, packs 7.2 kilowatts. A 2.4 kilowatt system is standard on the hybrid. Each setup allows owners to plug in multiple appliances to address the task at hand. A new tailgate work surface lends more versatility, giving owners access to a flat surface, rulers, and even a smartphone holder. Fully lit box is also available, while a new high-mounted camera will allow customers to monitor their cargo at speed. Ford will offer the F-150 with six engine options, a base naturally aspirated 3.3 liter V6, a twin turbocharged 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost, a five liter V8, a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost, a three liter V6 turbo diesel, and an all new hybrid model called PowerBoost with a twin turbocharged V6 engine and a 35 kilowatt electric motor. Each of these engines works alongside a 10 speed automatic transmission. Unfortunately, Ford isn't releasing output figures for its new truck, but aside from the hybrid, each engine is currently available on the 2020 F-150. We aren't expecting any significant changes in output. While Ford showed us the range topping limited and a King Ranch model, it's a safe bet that even lesser trucks will enjoy a significant improvement in material quality. On these two luxury oriented models, we were impressed at how Ford used contrasting finishes to highlight some of the cabin design's sharp edges. The mesh style finish on the Limited is particularly pretty when the light catches it. The leather quality felt high and the general fit and finish seems suitable for the class. Whether this quality will translate when the F-150s begin production on a large scale is tougher to say. Ford is making a big leap forward on the tech front. The new Active Drive Assist promises hands-free driving when it finally arrives late next year, while a new 12-inch touchscreen infotainment system will be available in the majority of F-150 trims with a new SYNC 4 software at its heart. Even on this prototype truck, Ford's now in-house software suite looked good and responded readily. High-level trucks will also get an attractive digital instrument cluster that riffs on some of the same themes introduced on the Ford Explorer last year. Using the F-150 for work doesn't just mean throwing stuff in the bed. It means spending long hours in the cabin. And for that, Ford has not only improved materials, but added a couple of welcome features. The first is a new max recline seat, which folds down to nearly 180 degrees and gives owners a viable place to catch a few winks. A new interior work surface gives owners access to a desk that's useful for grabbing a bite to eat or as a place to sit a laptop or a stack of papers. The new F-150 might not look that new on the exterior, but under that skin, there's so much new tech from the hybrid powertrain to the hands-free driving assist to even the fold flat seat that it feels a little bit strange that Ford didn't go with the clean sheet design. But while this truck might not look as revolutionary as it could, it has all the features that its loyal customers love and a whole lot more to bring in a new generation of buyers.